guys, Scorpio Sayer here. And as you saw a little bit ago, Asia picked out some makeup for mommy. And I already put on my foundation and my eyebrow products and curled my lashes. Obviously there wasn't too much to have her select with that. So for the next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put on the Maybelline Master Prime Face Studio Primer. This was the one that she had pointed to. So I put a little bit on my finger and then rub it into my eyelids like so. So here's one and then we're going to go ahead and do the other one. I'm by no means a professional makeup artist. I'm not even going to pretend that I am. I just do this for fun. So. And quite frankly, when I'm at my main job, I very seldom if ever wear makeup. So really, the only times you'll catch me with makeup on is either A, if I'm filming, or B, if my boyfriend and I are legit going somewhere, going somewhere. But other than that, I really don't wear it that much. I'll just be honest. All right, so my primer's on. And next thing I'm going to do is put on the eyeshadow. For the eyeshadow, she picked out this Wet n Wild and I guess this is called Rose in the Air. I've had this for a minute. This is honestly probably though the first time that I've opened it. And it's got like purples, browns, like some light beige colors. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this dark brown with a little bit of a shimmer and put that on the inside of my eyelid. When I was doing this, this was back before blenders, so I'm so used to using my finger as a blender. So you'll have to excuse me. But... And I also am the queen of making funny faces while I'm doing this. Alright. And I'm the reason why Q-tips were invented, by the way, guys. I go for, through so many of these because I'm a major perfectionist when I'm doing my eyes. So I'm just going to kind of wipe around the edge here, get the parts that I didn't get so good. Like I said, I'm not even going to sit here and pretend this looks like professional because I know damn well it don't. So that's that. And next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take like this light shimmery brown and kind of put it over top and put it into my brow bone like this. So that's that. And then lastly, I'm going to take this white and pop it into the corner of my eye. I thought for sure Asia was going to do me dirty and like pick out crazy combinations and everything else, but she actually did pretty good. Other than trying to swat at my hand, I mean, at least she swatted towards the one she wanted, so I can't really be too mad. <laughs> and then for my mascara, I'm going to do two different ones. For this one, this is the Rimmel London Scandalize Extreme. I'm going to put this on my top lashes. She technically picked out two of them, so that one will go on my top. Thumbs up if you make funny faces too when you put your mascara on. <laughs> uh, putting this on with contacts is always interesting. Thumbs up if you also agree with that. Alright, there's one. Alright. 
my bangs are looking a little bit wild because during this whole quarantine thing, I had to trim them myself, which means getting really creative with my hair. So it's partly why I'm rocking this headband here. I got this today at Walgreens. This was only like $5.99. All right, top mascara is on. And then usually what I do is I'll kind of fan it out with my finger, just to make sure it blends like into all of my lashes. All right, that's that. And I'm gonna put that back in the drawer. That's usually not one that I use on the regular. I'm kind of shocked she picked it, but at the same time, not really because it is red and I know that cats normally see red. That's like a common color that they see. So I mean I guess it makes sense that she would be drawn to that. I'm kind of messy when I put mascara on so I'm finding myself having to like clean underneath. But that's that. And for the eyeliner, she picked out the Color Con Coal Black Wet n Wild. And I'm going to just line my bottom waterline with that. I really don't wear a ton of eyeliner. I'm not really down for the lining of the top of my eye and doing the wings and this and that. That's more of my sister's territory. If she ever comes up here from Florida, you'll probably get to see her in action doing that, hopefully. She's really good at it. So, I'm just going to line my waterline, like so. Just kind of put this all along here. And again, like I said, I'm by no means professional. This isn't even normally how I do my makeup on a day-to-day -day basis. I'm pretty much just winging it at this point because that's just what we're going to do. She picked this stuff out, some of the shit I have yet to use. So we're just going to have fun with it today. All right, so I'm going to blink a little bit to blend that in. The eye's done. Now I'm going to do this part. Again, just kind of line my waterline and along my lashes. Now if you have any tips on how you guys do makeup, I'm not somebody who's going to be offended. You know, if you want to share those with me in the comments, go for it. Because like I said, I don't do this professionally. So I'm always down to learn different things. All right, try to get this like as even as I can. I don't have the steadiest hand in the world. Back when I was in high school, um, I thought about being a tattoo artist at one point, but then it dawned on me, you know, hey, I'm gonna be drawing on somebody's skin with a needle, so I better not, you know, be jerking with the tattoo gun because, yeah, that's how you end up with some really choppy lines, like something that's done in a garage. So, let me blend this. This is so uneven. <laughs> All right. Yeah, like I said, I'm a major, major perfectionist with my eyeliner. Try to line that a little bit better than what I did. Okay. Yeah, that's somewhat better. I don't know, what do y'all think? Yeah, Asia kind of threw me through a loop picking some of the stuff out that she did. For the bottom part of my eye, I'm actually going to do this um, Wowie Lash. And it's kind of blue, looks like this. A trick that I learned because I'm somebody who's notorious for being kind of messy with mascara, especially if it's like brand new, which this is like brand new. <laughs> I'll take like a Kleenex and just kind of wrap it around the wand to try to absorb some of what's on there. That way it's not bleeding, getting all over my skin. 
So I'm gonna do that a little bit. And then I'm gonna go in on my lower lashes like this, just very lightly. Like so. And I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. You know what, I think this needs a little more. Okay, so I've about blended that in as well as I can do here. So that's that. And then I'm going to go in again with the black eyeliner just to make sure that I've got everything as even as I can. Excuse me if you can't really see this part that well. I'll be getting a different tripod here very soon. This one was my boyfriend's and it's already been used. So I'm just kind of doing the best I can. This is just what we're rocking with today. Alright, that's that. It's about even, I would say. And then normally when I am doing my eyes, like I said, I'll tend to go through a lot of Q-tips just to kind of blend it that way too and make sure everything's even. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Yeah, that don't look too bad. And then powders, I really didn't have too much to choose from. So I had this one here. This is Neutrogena Skin Clearing Mineral Powder with MicroClear technology. I've had this for a while, as you see, it's about empty. And I'm gonna put some of this on my face as well. So just kind of put that over this. And I know a lot of people put their powder on before they do their eye makeup and that, but me, I've always liked doing it this way. It's just what I do. Don't like it? Oh well. This is not one thing I think that I would change willingly, really. It all goes the same place at the end of the day on my makeup wipes, so. All right, that's that. Powder's on. And I'm gonna use this brush and kind of blend it in. about blended in. Now normally I don't sit in front of my vanity and do my makeup. Typically I go in my bathroom just because the lighting's a little bit better. But for the sake of filming purposes it just made sense to go in here in my room in front of my vanity. I'm not really going anywhere today. Me and my boyfriend are just kind of being lazy so this is going to more than likely get cleaned off right after this video. I just kind of blend it everywhere, you know. Try to pretend that I've not been tired since like 2010. <laughs> and next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply Mega Glow Wet n Wild Highlighting Powder. And this is the shade Blossom Glow. I just got this at like Walgreens or CVS or something like that. Now up till recently I've not really been wearing a lot of highlighter. That's just not usually something I would do. But I've discovered it's my best friend. I'm somebody who works full-time, I'm going to school full-time, I don't always get an appropriate amount of sleep, so it does work very well for like brightening my face up. 
So I put a little here, and then by my eyes, as you've seen, and then just one strip going down my nose. Next thing I'm gonna do is the blush. And for the blush, Asia picked the Maybelline Fit Me. And let me see if the shade is on here. I've had this for a while. This is just like a light pink. Again, I got this, I think at Walgreens or something like that. So I'm gonna put a little bit of this on my cheeks. Thumbs up for the fish face. Some of this stuff I do on the regular when I put makeup on, some of it I do not, but like I said, today we're just kind of winging it and just seeing what happens. This is about as raw as it gets here. And just kind of blend my stuff everywhere. Last but not least, I'm gonna go in with this little beauty blender. I think this I got at Family Dollar. It's kind of old. I think I'm due to pick up another one here soon, but it's kind of sentimental because this is like the first beauty blender that I got. Thumbs up for more funny faces while applying makeup. All right. So I blended all that in. Last but not least, I'm gonna use this lipstick that Asia picked out and she picked out this LA Colors matte lipstick. Like I said, it's like a pinky red color. It's kind of shimmery, but Thumbs up for making a mess with lipstick, too. Alright. That was the end of that. Alright. And then to finish up the look, Asia actually picked my everyday setting spray that I use. This is the L'Oreal Paris Infallible Pro Spray and Set. And this stuff works amazing, usually. <laughs> now, would I recommend it if I'm like gonna be somewhere like hot weather, like a barbecue or on the beach or something? Probably not, but if I'm dancing the night away at the bar, this usually gets the job done, I would say. Not that I've been doing that lately, because guess what? My state is still shut down. Woo! Yeah, the stuff's kind of got a smell to it. So now I'm gonna kind of go in and clean the little sparkles off my face. It tends to like leave like a little shimmer after you apply it, so. Apparently, Asia was wanting me to look like a little pinup girl or something. I think that's the look that she was aiming for with this. So this is the finished look. Hopefully y'all like it. Like I said, I'm not gonna sit here and pretend this is like the greatest look ever because I know it's not. Um, I don't claim to do this professionally. This is strictly for fun, but if you liked what you saw, please give this a thumbs up and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. Bye.